Hey, I'm Adam Gills of Sport Fight X. I'm standing here with Daniel O'Brien at Triad Martial Arts in Coleman, Alabama. We announced last week that Daniel O'Brien is going to be taking on Kendrick Myrie July 28th from the Boutwell Auditorium in Birmingham, Alabama. Daniel, tell us a little bit about maybe what your game plan is going to be for that fight that you got coming up the June, July 28th. Um, really, well, I, I mean, I don't – my opponent's strong everywhere. It's going to be a good test for me. So, uh, you know, I, I feel comfortable everywhere also. So, uh I feel I'm a more technical fighter. He's faster. He's stronger. I'm going to try to slow him down and uh, get a victory. Now, Daniel comes once again from Triad Martial Arts in Coleman, Alabama, and he's going to be taking on Kendrick Myrie, which is American top teams. Uh, he's one of their big best prospects that they have. He's on the UFC radar. He needs one more fight uh, before he goes to the UFC. Daniel's a highly decorated Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy. He's a 2011 Pan American gold medalist. Um, he's a 2011 black belt no gi Pan American silver medalist, nine-time gold medalist at uh, Naga. Daniel, how do you feel like it? His, uh, maybe his jiu-jitsu matches up with yours? And uh, Tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, well, like I said, I, th I think I can handle myself everywhere. Uh, I grapple with, I'm sure, guys that are stronger than him, uh, all the time bigger than him. I've got no problem anywhere. I, I don't really want to. I mean, I, I don't. I don't. I can't. Nobody can predict where a fight goes, but uh, I'm going to be ready wherever it wherever it goes. Now, Daniel, uh, once again, he's a highly decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guy, and uh, Kendrick. He, like I said, you know, he's on the UFC radar. This uh this fight could be a big fight for both of them. Uh, maybe a, a win is a great win for either one, or a loss is not a bad thing either. This will be probably the toughest opponent that Daniels fought. Uh, he fought Amatiosa Lukewe at Sport Fight X in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, back uh, January was a year ago. So this will be your second fight. Does it uh does maybe any kind of nerves play into effect? It since uh, maybe he has more fights in the cage than you do, or anything like that. Uh yeah, I mean. Of course, I'm nervous. You know, just like uh, anybody else is gonna be nervous. Um, if they told you they weren't nervous. They're they're lying. I'm sure he'll be nervous all the same. But uh, yeah, he has more experience. But uh, I think I have more experience in training. And uh, you know, I train in here like I fight all the time. You don't have to fight to be a good fighter. Um, you know, I train with people. You know, Stephen Will Heights had probably 20 fights and uh you know I, he's a great training partner with me i've got a bunch of other good training partners uh a lot of good experience uh as far as cage experience you know i think uh the pan american jiu-jitsu stage and the world stage is way bigger than anything he's been a part of even you know even in a cage fight so as far as nerves go you know it's all the same i used to play basketball getting on the court i've always dealt pretty well with nerves uh i'm sure i'll be nervous at first but you know once i'm in there and and i'll i'll start to get comfortable and, and then it'll just be uh second nature from there i think this fight will be a big proving point for daniel uh once again like i said earlier you know a win is a great win a loss for either guy is not a bad thing uh daniel is a guy that us at Sport FedEx, he's not easy to match up with, even though he's only been in the cage one time. Um, he's he's had numerous competitions that he's done well in. Like I said earlier, you know, he's a gold medalist in the Pan American Games, and the list goes on and on. So I think this just will silence a lot of critics, uh, maybe some of the people here that are locally that uh, that we've offered fights to that they wouldn't take it. So we uh, we do have a big matchup here. Daniel, uh, anything else you want to say? Um, You know, no, I, I think – I think uh, our school triad is a good representative of MMA in Alabama. You know, I don't think there are – I don't want to say any, but there's not many schools around here that can compete with us, and we have a problem, you know, getting fighters from other MMA gyms around here, you know, to, to fight us. But, uh, you know, nobody wants to fight any of our fighters over here um, unless they have some ridiculous price what they know they ain't going to get. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, I like fighting these Georgia fighters, the guys from Tennessee, and I've trained with a bunch of people from from Atlanta. Uh, the I don't I don't know my opponent, you know. I hope he's a, you know, the last guy he was a good guy. Uh, we're gonna get in there. Hopefully, both do our best, and hopefully, my best is gonna be better than his. But you know, however it goes, it goes. I'm gonna be training. I'm gonna be training my butt off this whole time. So uh. 
it's not I can guarantee it's not going to be easy for them so and I'll agree with you too I think that these guys they uh the kind of camp that they have here in Alabama is is uh way above anything else that we found here and that's one of the reasons that we always use these triad guys once again that's Daniel O'Brien's going to be taking on Kendrick Myrie that's Saturday July the 28th from the Battle Auditorium in Birmingham Alabama you can check us out at www.sportfightx.com or fan us on Facebook thank you <laughs>